What up, preferable life crafters? Today I am going to show you how to get YouTube keywords and tags for free using Uber Suggest. Super, super simple, and it's a free tool, so can't can't hardly beat that. Let's get into it. Uh, YouTube rocks. You can change lives with it, and here's how you introduce people to your stuff so that they can find you and you can change their lives and then you can make money you can do lots of things but bringing heaven to earth is what we're mainly focused on on this channel and i don't know what what more what's a more worthwhile thing to do so super simple just uber suggest google it whatever but neilpatel.com slash uber suggest is the official url and i'm going to pretend that i'm making a video on resistant starch you just put in your thing and then uber suggest suggests keywords i never seen this sign up with google thing but whatever uh we got 8100 searches a month seo difficulty of 33 paid difficulty cost per click uh, that's anyways who cares we, we, we're not concerned about these numbers we're kind of concerned about this. We are search concerned about this. Uh, SEO difficulty is different than, on, th this is for Google, okay? And that's kind of a metric of how many backlinks that these top 10 results have. Um, not necessarily a thing for YouTubing, but if I can find, that's what we'll get into next. So I, got, I suggest all these keywords, I keyword ideas. So I have, re Foods with resistant starch, not searched as month as much, obviously, but the difficulty is way, 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 way less. So if I'm a new YouTuber channel, I would probably rather talk about foods with resistant starch other than the overall whole thing of resistant starch because there's less competition on SEO for this. So there's very likely the same amount of less competition on YouTube for this. Uh, what made me want to make this video is I'm making a video with the best keyword tool to use for YouTube and, but it will, will not be out yet whenever this thing goes live. So I'll put a link to it in the description if you want to know. Um, actually, anyways, so we got a, a few keyword options whenever you're YouTubing. But this is cool. We've got foods with resistant starch seven. So what do we do about tags? Uh, we're gonna say I'm gonna make my video on foods with resistant starch. All right, so I am on, this is my one that I clicked. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab all these cause, well, I'll, I'll even grab this one, but I'll, I'll make this my title, okay? So this is gonna be the primary one that I'm focused on. And that's the video that I'm working on as a YouTube SEO checklist. So uh, foods with resistant starch, we're going to make that my main keyword. And I'd probably call it like seven, I don't know, fancy, seven fancy foods. I don't even know if resistant starch is good. <laughs> I think it is. Seven foods with resistant starch that are also yummy. Something like that. Okay, you know more about your niche and things than I would in this specific situation. But I don't want this too long. Don't want it too short. I want. I, I don't want just the words "food for resistant starch." A list is a great idea. So, and odd numbers are always better than even numbers. So seven foods with resistant starch that are also yummy. We're going to call that our title. So then I got resistant starch foods. That's absolutely relevant. Uh, I assume I would talk about potatoes because that's the first food, the most searched food. And I got that. I might grab this. Um, interesting. Ketosis. So rice, rice, diet. Not gonna grab supplement because I doubt that I would talk about supplements in a seven foods that are resistant starch video. Sweet potatoes, sweet potato resistant starch list. Sure, that's pretty relevant. Pasta, not gonna grab recipes. Not gonna grab recipes. List of foods, absolutely. Foods with resistant starch list. Uh, I'd probably grab resistant starch benefits, corn, so I'm kind of getting my food list 
just from here. I don't even know anything about this stuff. So green bananas, I talk about corn and green bananas and potatoes, bread sources, absolutely. Examples, plantains, wheat, bananas. Uh, then I'm going to copy. It's good enough, but you, you want to include relevant other keywords. So I skipped over a few like recipes because I'm not going to give a recipe. So I don't want to put a YouTube tag as a recipe because it's not going to necessarily be um, what I'm talking about. I'm going to be talking about foods. So then right here you have all, uh, all, all the tags populated for free. Um, and if I wasn't teaching this, it would have taken, I don't know, two minutes, something to that extent. The downside, just to let you know, is you got to put a comma here on these. Otherwise, YouTube is going to grab that as one tag. And obviously, no one's searching for resistant starch foods, is resistant starch, resistant starch foods, resistant starch and potatoes. They're not putting all of this in YouTube for one query. So we have a bunch of queries that we need to. So we got to add commas here. So in a couple minutes, um, I got my primary keyword foods with resistant starch. And I'd probably put some other things like healthy living. I'm spelling that wrong. Sorry. Yeah, spelling that wrong, sorry. <laughs> Diet, you know, a couple big ones that are kind of big categories of uh, foods for with resistant starch is kind of a subcategory of, but I'm more concerned about these. I'm more concerned about resistant starch and sweet potatoes because these are super, 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 super relevant to the primary word that I am searching. Uh, you have 500 characters that you can put in your YouTube videos um, and Google Docs makes it really easy. So I just select that word count. I'm at 648, so I'm already over my character count. So I'd have to cut out a couple of these. So that's kind of a duplicate, okay? So already we're men mentioning sweet potatoes once. Um, I'm gonna leave those two in the same, probably take out I don't know, maybe I wouldn't talk about keto, I don't know. And so you, you figure out what, you, what, what you're talking about in your video and, and then I'm at 571, so got a little bit of work to do. But that's the game, is Uber suggest a free way to get you to keywords. I don't know what's going on with my thing. I can't make myself big, it's flashing. <laughs> I'm Josh, preferablelife.com. This helped you out, hit the thumbs up, hit subscribe, helping you a couple times a week with videos too. Actualize your dream, change the world, bring heaven to earth, and have some fun. Catch you on the next one.